Hey everybody, so so far this season it seems like I've been talking about the same teams a lot over and over again and that's because those teams have been the storyline so far this year whether it's a team that's doing better than expected like the Devils or Kings or if it's a team that's really doing a lot worse than people thought they would like the Rangers or the Canadians but it whatever the reason it seems like I'm hitting on the same teams over and over again and that's fine but now um, I want to kinda go through the teams that I haven't really talked much about the teams that are kinda just floating around in the middle of the standings um, around 500 and that I've kinda not talked much about because there wasn't really much to talk about they're kinda just sitting there in the middle so I'm going to go through division by division on, and talk about some teams that I haven't yet or have only a couple of times and kind of go over what I think is going to happen with them for the rest of the year. So in the Atlantic, Ottawa is off to a pretty good start with their 4-1-3. and three. Detroit got off to a good start and now are starting to come back down and have dropped a 4-4-1. Four, four and one. And Florida is in sixth place at three and three four and oh. Um, Ottawa, this number right here, I like a lot. They aren't losing in regulation; they're losing in overtime, and those extra points add up big time at the end of the season. Um, it, th their their chances of making the playoffs are greatly increased. It, the more they lose in overtime because those are just extra points adding up adding up and you don't have to win a ton of games if you can rack up the overtime and shootout losses and pick up those extra one points and eventually that you know you, if you end up with you know 10 overtime losses that's an extra five wins point points wise so it really those add up big time and the more you lose in overtime instead of regulation the better your chances are making the playoffs so they they ha they've only lost once in regulation if they lose they're still getting a point out of it that is really good for them they greatly increasing their chances of making the playoffs Detroit uh, like I said Detroit started off really well a lot of people picked them to be a last place team this year and now they're starting to look like the last place team that people expected. Um, they got off to a good start, but it's been a disaster since then. Uh, I watched the game the other night against um, Vancouver. They lost four to one and looked like absolute garbage. Um, they're on t they're on TV tonight on NBC SN um, against Buffalo. So we'll see how they look tonight. But I think Detroit is in a going to start heading very far downwards and all the way to the bottom of the Atlantic. Um, Florida, they're three and four. This is about what I expected from them. Uh, they're in sixth place. They're probably going to finish about in sixth place. Um, they're not a playoff team, but they're not they're not atrocious. They're not like uh, you can't go into a game against them thinking, oh, this is going to be an easy win. But they're not a playoff team in my mind. Metro, um, Philadelphia five and three, Columbus five and three, Islanders four three and one, and Carolina three two and one. Um, Philadelphia, I picked to make the playoffs as a wild card team at the beginning of this year, and that's looked good so far. Although they had, they were good at the beginning of the year last year too, and then collapsed. Um, I just I think Philly makes it this year. I think they have to make it this year. Um, they they can't waste any more years with the Voracek Simmons Giroux core. And if they if they don't make it again, then I would say at least one of those guys has to go. But uh, uh um, Columbus Columbus I think they're easily a playoff team. They're gonna rise up in the standings even more. Um, I think they're one of the best teams in the East. The Islanders, they're off to a pretty good start. Um, there's not a lot of big names on that team, but they're above 500 right now. They're, they've looked decent so far. I think they're going to be 
on the outside looking in come the end of the year though I think it might be close though I definitely think they're they're gonna miss the playoffs but it might be by like five or six points it's gonna be pretty close in Carolina they just haven't played a lot of games yet um, I expect them to rise in the standings they're a team that I think misses the playoffs but is the la like first team to miss the playoffs they might miss by one or two points and maybe even a tiebreaker but um they're they're a good team but I think they miss this year uh, Nashville sitting at four three and one Winnipeg's at four three and0 oh. Colorado is at four and four and Minnesota's at two two and two uh, interesting for Minnesota there they haven't played a lot of games yet either like much like Carolina which is why they're at the bottom um, Nashville I think is going to be fine. Uh, they're four three and one now. I think they get better as the season goes along. They'll be fine. Winnipeg four and th four and three. I think they drop. Um, I don't trust that team at all. I think they have a good good forward group, but I don't trust their goaltending long term. Even if it's Hellebuck and not Mason, I don't think Hellebuck it, for a full season is going to be a playoff goaltender. Colorado got off to a great start and now is starting to fall back to the Colorado we expected. Conti expect them to continue to fall and I expect Minnesota to get a lot better. They've only played six games while everyone else for the most part's played uh, at least seven, some eight, some I think have played nine. So Minnesota's just got to catch up in games played and ca they'll catch up in wins. So um, I expect them to rise in the standings greatly. And the Pacific, Vancouver is at 4-3-1, and one. San Jose is at 4-4, four and four. Calgary is at 4-4, four and four. and Anaheim's at 3-3-1. Three, three and one. Um, Vancouver has gotten off to a pretty good start, um, but I don't expect that to continue. Um, Derek Dorsett's their leading goal scorer right now. Um, that's not going to continue. They're, the Sedins uh, are not getting much for ice time. Not that they need to. I mean, they are. They're still good on the power play and they're decent offensive players, but m watching them, they are not the players that they used to be. Um, Vancouver, I don't think they have the roster to, to c keep this up. San Jose is at 4-4. Four and four. I expect them to be about there for most of the season. Calgary I expect to get better. I picked Calgary to make the playoffs. I did not pick San Jose to make the playoffs. Uh, I think Calgary is a better team than San Jose when you look at their roster. Um, San Jose just, I look at you, there's so many no-names mixed in, in both on their defense and in their forward group. I just, I don't see it for San Jose this year. And Anaheim has been, well, you could say surprisingly down, but then think of who they're missing. They don't have Ryan Kessler right now. They're missing, they're missing uh, Hoppus Lindholm and Sammy Vatanen on the back end. I mean, this is a team, Patrick Eves, this is a team with... M a lot of important players out. Um, once they start to get some of those players back, which may not be for a while, but when they start to get some players back, they're going to be a force to reckon with. Um, I think as long as they stay, keep their heads above water now in the beginning of the season, they can have a strong second half and uh, easily push themselves into at least a playoff spot, if not competing for the division. So I expect Anaheim to get a lot better. So those are just some teams that I haven't really talked much about yet because I've been focusing a lot on the Rangers, Canadians, uh, Vegas, uh, the Kings, the Blues, Chicago, teams like that because those that's been where the storylines, those have been the storylines so far this season. So these teams are kind of floating around in the middle. Um, if you look in the standings, they're all n none of them are near at the way bottom for them. Well, except for Minnesota, that's just because they haven't played yet a lot of games. But um, they're all kind of floating around the middle, around 500, and some teams will probably stay around 500. Some are going to drop, and some are going to rise up. So, like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, we spread the word. We want this channel to grow. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.